Uncle Nick had kicked us out. Couldn't find anyone else who'd take us in. Lip and Ian and me were sleeping in the back seat when Frank pulled over. Middle of the night. I think it was Halstead. Told me to take the boys and sit on the curb and he'd be right back. Fucking cuss that it was you! I should have told him! A few hours later, we're still sitting on the sidewalk. I don't even know who you are! Ian's head is you and up. He's hysterical. I don't know what to do. So I ran down the street. Lip under one arm, Ian under the other, trying to flag down help. Would have been easier scoring crack than a ride to the clinic. I finally made it on foot. He said Ian had a fever of 104. Another couple hours? Who knows? I didn't find Frank until a couple days later. First thing he asked me was how much money I had on me. It's about me, okay? Because it's never about me, and I'm finally making it about me. I wish me. I could say that was the only time. But it was just the first. My mother's bipolar. Get out of bed, Mom! My father's an alcoholic and an addict. He takes what he pleases and he offers nothing. No money. No support. I've done what I could to help raise my siblings. I wish I could have done more. I'm not asking for your pity or your admiration. I just want to be able to give these kids everything that they deserve because they're great kids and they deserve better.